What's good, YouTube? DM here with the DM Network. And today, I want to revisit transformations in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Before we get into all of that, y'all know the routine. Follow me on the social media platforms listed on the screen there. Also, please join that over 9,000 hype squad by clicking the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you don't miss up. You know what? I kind of get tired of saying that sometimes. Y'all might, I might just cut out saying that. Y'all already know the routine. If you're watching a YouTube video, they want you to subscribe. We want you to subscribe. So, anyway, on with the video. So, apologize for yesterday, y'all. Didn't do a video, but we're here today. So, anyway, I want to talk about, I want to revisit transformations. We've done a video before when the game was still titled Project Z about transformations. Now, I want to revisit that because we do know that they have the surge element in the game. And what surge is, um, is whenever you're, you have a meter that's to the right of Goku. Let me see here if I can pull it up. If you see there on the right of, to the right of Goku, he has a, a meter next to his head. Okay. So what surge does, um, whenever that gets full, and your key is fully charged, you can go into what they call a surge effect, which boosts your stats. This is very similar to Kaioken. However, it's not Kaioken. And some people are speculating that transformations will utilize this effect, but I don't agree with that. I think that transformations are gonna be completely separate, and I believe that you'll still be able to utilize this surge while in your transformed state. Hopefully that's the case, because if transformations are off of the surge effect, then it's not going to last. Um, the way that I believe the transformations will work is that transformations, you'll be able to keep your transformation. Uh, however, instead of draining your key, I would like for the game to make it to where your attacks cost more key. I think that's a more realistic thing, because... You never saw Goku fighting as a Super Saiyan and wasn't able to maintain that transformation unless, of course, he got KO'd or his stamina failed. But if he was relaxed in a fight and he wasn't struggling, he was able to maintain Super Saiyan. Most of the time, and especially in Dragon Ball Z, the only time they lost the Super Saiyan transformation is whenever they were unconscious. And that's how you could tell that they were unconscious because they would lose the Super Saiyan transformation. There were some instances in movies, or even in the Boo saga when he was fighting against Kid Boo, where you know Vegeta would go back to regular, um, he would go back to normal form, base form instead of Super Saiyan and stuff like that. So to have it in a game where Super Saiyan tra uh, drains your stamina, it, to me that's just a, it, it's, it, well yeah it is realistic, it does do a drain on your stamina, if you're going to do that and stay true to the anime, then you need to allow it to us to be able to train in that Super Saiyan state. And the more that you train as a Super Saiyan, um, then it drains less of your stamina. Either that or, like I said, make it to where the Super Saiyan transformation just it, for, in order for you to perform special attacks, it requires more stamina and you could double it or whatever the case may be, because if you look at the gameplay, whenever he's fighting Raditz, um, when he does those attacks, they have a stamina cost to them, depending on the attack. And I, I don't know, I just thought it would be really cool that whatever your transform state is, instead of it constantly draining your stamina, just have it to where your attacks cost more stamina to perform. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they could go even deeper with that in training mode by um allowing us to maybe if training mode is the way that we would like it one section of training mode can be uh to train to maintain your transformations and it, it can go one of two ways number one if super if transformations constantly drain your stamina as you use them then you could train to where it causes you that stamina drain to decrease you know you could have a 0.5 decrease, 10%, 15, 20, whatever. Uh, but if it's the way that I would like transformations to work, where instead of it draining your stamina, it just costs more stamina to use your special attacks, then training in your transformed state can make it to where that number is decreased. So for instance, say if it costs 10 key stamina to use uh, the uh, Kamehameha wave, okay? Well, if you're transformed Kaioken, let's say it uses 15. If you're a Super Saiyan, it uses 20. 
or 25 or something to that effect. Um, and so if you train in that transformed state, let's say instead of Super Saiyan it taking 25, it takes 20 or 21 or 22 because this is a RPG. So you're not going to see big incremental jumps. You're going to see more minute, minuscule, miniature jumps. So instead of gaining 50 stamina, you'd probably gain like three or four stamina, you, things like that. That's because it, it's, RPGs are a grind. They're meant for you to grind out the game and play the game, you know, so it goes back to saying like a lot of people think that oh same old story i'm just gonna get in here and fly through it no rpgs aren't like that you it's probably good you're gonna have to do a great number of training and fighting and side quests to even get get to the level to fight um raditz or uh, um napa and vegeta you know it's not gonna be oh i beat raditz let me go and fight vegeta no it's gonna be a pretty significant jump to the next level that's what people don't understand about this game and that's why it will be different so for the people looking at the raddest fight saying oh it's easy they should make the bosses way harder number one you're watching somebody else play it and you're not seeing them fail at playing it you're seeing them succeed you don't know how many times they failed you don't and, and you don't even know you're not even used to the controls so i guarantee you you know it's a good chance when you hop into the game that you may not beat it on your first go round. i don't know and nor do i care because a lot of times in rpgs the first bosses are normally the easier ones because it's trying to teach you how about boss fights in general so you know that goes without saying but transformation wise we know that the producer said there's going to be a lot of transforming in the game and that leads me to believe also that the game is going to go past the frieza saga because in the Frieza saga, there wasn't a lot of transforming. As a matter of fact, you had Kaioken and Super Saiyan, and Goku only went Super Saiyan once against Frieza. Whereas if you go beyond the Frieza saga, yeah, transform like like Vegeta said, it became a Super Saiyan bargain sale. You know, people transforming all the time and stuff like that. So I don't think it's going to use the surge because we also saw in the latest trailer when Goku was fighting Frieza, he was already Super Saiyan and he got some kind of power up. You know. And also you see in the anime where they would be Super Saiyan and then they would do what we see as Surge. They would like power up even more. Like he'd be base Super Saiyan, no aura. And then he would boom, power up and he'd have this aura and they'd fight for a while and he'd lose the aura. So I don't think that they're going to utilize the Surge mechanic for transformations because that also drains pretty quickly, fairly quickly. And then you'd be transforming back and forth a lot. If that's the case, then it makes sense when he says there'll be a lot of transforming because you won't be able to hold those transformations for long. But that's very unrealistic to the anime and the manga that they're not able to hold those transformations for that period of time. Only way I can see that is if you first transform. That's why I said it would make sense for them in training to have a section in training where you have to train with your transformation in order to build up the ability to maintain that transformation for a longer periods of time and things like that because then that would be very true to the anime as well because goku nim he had to train in his transformation we saw that in dragon ball z we saw that in fukatsu no f where did goku and vegeta only reason they was able to beat frieza number one yeah because we revived time but also because frieza dropped his 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 new transformation because he hadn't trained with it so he wasn't able to maintain it we saw in the cell saga when gohan and goku walked around as Super Saiyan, made it an everyday part of life, and what it got them to the point of doing is that the transformation, Super Saiyan transformation didn't cost them any stamina or energy because their bodies were already accustomed to the state. So that's what I believe, that's what I feel, that's what I think about transformations. Um, the biggest thing, the make or break, even if they don't do any of the other stuff, the biggest thing for me is going to be making the Super Saiyan transformation relevant. Because you see in all these other Dragon Ball games, to be honest, super transforming into Super Saiyan is not much of a power up. I mean, if anything else, it's um, what do they call it? It's a uh, cosmetic. You know, you can see in some of the Budokai series and stuff when the training mode, you see it gives you like a 10 percent buff in power. That's bogus, man. And the thing about it is, those games were multiplayer games. This is a single player game, so they can give you a lot of power in the super saiyan transformation and i believe that they really will i don't see no 10 percent buff in power because the beautiful thing about pve is you're not gonna have people complaining about being strong goku is an op character he is strong so you know in the super saiyan transformation made an enormous difference in their power level so hopefully the game reflects that with transformations hopefully they can get that right where every dragon ball game has failed 
because of multiplayer actually Dragon Ball Z, you know, uh, Legend of Super Saiyan did transformation really well. When you went Super Saiyan, you got a significant power up. Um, I hadn't played Legacy of Goku. I didn't have a Game Boy Advance back then, so I don't know, you know, how much the Saiyan Super Saiyan transformation affected your power in that game. Uh, but hopefully, they get it right in this one. But y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below about transformations, and also how strong should the transformations be. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.